Accounting provides you with the facility to customise how your invoices will appear. From Settings, you can select Logo and Document Template. Within here, you can select one of six invoice templates available. There are three product-based templates and three service-based templates to choose from. Further down the page, you can upload your company logo as well as two additional logos if required for your invoices. To upload your logo, select Add a Logo and browse to the location of your file. The last two sections within this screen allow you to change the theme colour of your invoice and the font. Once finished, just click Save. For further customization from the Settings tab, you can select Invoice Form Settings. This data will be in relation to the wording and information that will appear automatically when generating invoices. In the Prefixes and Numbering section, you can customize the prefix and number to whatever numbering sequence you require for your documents. The default delivery address option lets you choose whether the system will automatically copy the invoice address or pull through a delivery address that you have set up on your customer record. Or you also have the option to not show any delivery address on your invoice. Some additional options within this screen allow you to set up a customized set of terms and conditions and notes. Any details entered into these boxes will automatically appear on all invoices generated in accounting. Once you are happy with what you have entered and selected, just click Save at the bottom. To preview what your invoice will look like, you can create a draft invoice. To do this, hover over Sales and select Sales Invoices, then click New Invoice. Fill in the details required on the screen, then in the bottom left-hand corner, make sure to tick the Save as Draft checkbox. Then hover over the arrow beside Save and Email and select Save and Print. Your draft invoice will then open in a new window for you to view it. Once you are happy with the invoice settings, you can go back into the draft invoice, untick Save as Draft and hit Save.